if you really want to be a part of the real change in the world, the kind of change that shifts culture and law and people's minds and hearts and the way that people live, is that you have to be willing to put your whole life into the movement. One of the things about your activism that I find so inspiring is that you're modeling for people how art can be a form of activism. Oh yeah. Right? And so you're building bridges with people because who doesn't love to participate in things like poetry and music, right? You know, my kid and I, we um, work very hard to make sure that our actions are about changing the world, about making the world better. But we also want to dance and we want to laugh and we want to sing. And I used to want to change the world so that I can get married. I used to want to change the world so I can be free. But now I want to change the world so that she can be free. When we're talking about how motherhood has evolved your activism, I'm wondering how you're looking at this landscape and how you're still finding a sense of hope. LGBT communities will continue to fight. The activist community will continue to move forward. Change has to come. It will come. It has always come. So I'm in it for the long haul. I think I feel like you are too. Thank you so much, DCM. Thank you very much for having me. Big, big love.